the king of the jungle, an introduction to tigers. Tigers are truly magnificent creatures, with their striking orange coats and bold black stripes. They're impossible to miss, yet somehow they blend perfectly into their surroundings. These big cats are the largest of all living cat species. They're also one of the most recognizable animals on our planet. When you think of power in the animal kingdom, the tiger often comes to mind. They're apex predators sitting at the top of the food chain. Nothing in their natural habitat hunts them. Instead, they hunt others. Their very presence can change an entire ecosystem. Where tigers roam, other animals must adapt or risk becoming a meal. Tigers once roamed across much of Asia, from the snowy forests of Russia to the tropical jungles of Indonesia. Sadly, their numbers have dwindled. Human activity has pushed them into smaller and smaller areas. But in these remaining wild places, tigers still reign supreme. Built for power, the tiger's incredible strength. Tigers are incredibly strong animals. Their bodies are perfectly designed for power and agility. Just imagine a creature that can bring down prey much larger than itself. That's the tiger for you. Their muscular build is evident in every move they make. Whether they're stalking through the undergrowth or charging at their prey, their strength is always on display. An adult tiger can weigh up to 660 pounds. That's about the weight of four adult humans. But don't let their size fool you. These big cats are far from slow or clumsy. They can leap up to 16 feet in a single bound. Their powerful hind legs give them this amazing ability. Tigers are also incredibly strong swimmers. While many cats avoid water, tigers seem to enjoy it. They can easily cross rivers and even chase prey into the water. Their strong legs and muscular bodies make them excellent swimmers. This ability gives them an edge in their wetland habitats. Stripes and senses. Unique characteristics of tigers. Every tiger is unique. Just like every human has their own fingerprint. The stripe pattern on a tiger's coat is one of a kind. No two tigers have the same stripes. These stripes aren't just on their fur either. If you were to shave a tiger, you'd find that the stripes are on their skin too. This unique pattern helps them blend into their surroundings. It breaks up their outline, making them hard to spot in the dappled light of the forest. Tiger eyes have round pupils that can open very wide in low light. This allows them to see clearly at dawn and dusk, when they do most of their hunting. They also have a reflective layer at the back of their eyes. This is what makes their eyes seem to glow in the dark. It helps them to see better at night by reflecting light back through their retina a second time. Tigers also have incredibly sensitive hearing. Their ears can rotate independently, allowing them to pinpoint the exact location of a sound. Their sense of smell is equally impressive. The art of stealth a tiger's hunting techniques. When it comes to hunting, tigers are true masters of their craft. Their hunting technique is a perfect blend of patience, stealth, and explosive power. It all starts with the stalk. A tiger will spend hours creeping towards its prey. They move with incredible silence, placing each paw with care. Their padded feet help muffle any sound. Even in a forest full of dry leaves, a tiger can move without making a noise. Tigers are ambush predators. This means they prefer to surprise their prey rather than chase it down. They use every bit of cover they can find. Tall grass, bushes, and trees all become hiding spots. A tiger's stripes play a crucial role here. They break up the tiger's outline, making it blend into the dappled shadows. Patience is key in a tiger's hunt. They can stay still for hours, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. When that moment comes, the tiger explodes into action. They can go from perfectly still to full sprint in an instant. A tiger can run at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. Masters of Ambush How Tigers Catch Their Prey Tigers are opportunistic hunters. They'll eat almost anything they can catch. But they do have preferred prey. In many parts of their range, deer species like sambar and chital are their main food source. Wild boar are another favorite. In some areas, tigers will even take on larger prey like gaur, which are wild cattle that can weigh over a ton. The key is to match the hunting technique to the prey. For smaller prey like deer, the tiger relies heavily on stealth and ambush. They'll often wait near water holes or game trails. These are places where they know prey will come. The tiger will crouch low, hidden in the vegetation. 
They'll wait for the prey to come close, often within 20 to 30 feet. Then, with a burst of speed, they'll charge. The attack is usually over in seconds. The prey rarely has a chance to react. Larger prey requires a different approach. Wild at heart, the untamed nature of tigers. Despite centuries of human fascination, we tigers remain truly wild animals. We're not meant for captivity or domestication. Every aspect of our being is designed for life in the wild. From our powerful bodies to our keen senses, everything about us screams wild. This wildness is a key part of our appeal. It's what makes us both awe-inspiring and feared. We are solitary creatures by nature. Unlike lions, we don't live in prides. Adult tigers only come together to mate. The rest of the time, we prefer to be alone. This solitary nature is part of what makes us so wild and untamed. We don't rely on others for survival. Each of us must fend for ourselves, hunting our own food and defending our own territory. This independence is a hallmark of our wild nature. Our wild nature is also evident in our behavior. Solitary survivors, the tiger's lifestyle in the wild. Tigers lead a mostly solitary life in the wild. This solitary lifestyle begins early. Tiger cubs stay with their mother for about two years. During this time, they learn all the skills they need to survive. They learn how to hunt, how to mark territory, and how to avoid dangers. Once they're ready, the young tigers set out on their own. From then on, they'll spend most of their lives alone. Adult tigers are fiercely territorial. They mark their territories with scent, scratches on trees, and urine. A male tiger's territory can cover up to 60 square miles. Female territories are usually smaller, around 20 square miles. These territories rarely overlap, except where a male's territory might cover those of several females. This territorial nature helps ensure each tiger has enough prey in its area to survive. Despite their solitary nature, tigers do communicate with each other. They use scent marks, scratches, and vocalizations to send messages. Roar of the wild tiger communication and territory. Tigers may be solitary, but they're far from silent. They have a rich vocabulary of sounds they use to communicate. The tiger's roar is perhaps its most famous vocalization. It's a deep, throaty sound that can be heard up to two miles away. But tigers don't just roar. They also chuff, grunt, moan, and even make a sound called prusten, a low-frequency sound used in friendly greetings. These vocalizations serve many purposes. A roar might be used to warn off other tigers or to announce a tiger's presence. Mothers use softer vocalizations to communicate with their cubs. During mating season, tigers use a variety of calls to attract mates. Each sound has its own meaning and purpose in the tiger's world. But sound isn't the only way tigers communicate. Scent plays a huge role in tiger communication. Facing threats tigers in the modern world. Despite their strength and adaptability, tigers face numerous threats in the modern world. The biggest threat is habitat loss. As human populations grow, we encroach more and more on tiger habitats. Forests are cut down for agriculture or development. This leaves tigers with less space to roam and hunt. It also brings them into closer contact with humans, leading to conflict. Poaching is another major threat to tigers. Tiger parts are highly valued in some traditional medicines, despite no scientific evidence of their effectiveness. Tigers are also hunted for their beautiful skins. Even though international trade in tiger parts is illegal, a black market still exists. This illegal hunting has decimated tiger populations in many areas. Climate change is an emerging threat to tigers. As temperatures rise and weather patterns change, it affects the habitats tigers rely on. Majestic beasts, preserving the tiger's legacy. Tigers have captured human imagination for centuries. They feature prominently in the art, literature, and folklore of many cultures. In some places, they're revered as sacred animals. In others, they're symbols of strength and courage. This cultural significance can be a double-edged sword. While it can inspire conservation efforts, it can also drive demand for tiger parts in traditional practices. Conservation efforts for tigers take many forms. Protected areas are crucial. They provide safe havens where tigers can live and breed without human interference. But protected areas alone aren't enough. Many conservation programs now focus on creating wildlife corridors. These allow tigers to move between protected areas, increasing their range and genetic diversity. Education is another key part of tiger conservation. 
Many programs work to teach local communities about the importance of tigers. They also help 